Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Port Science 7 and welcome to another Polycore video. Today's video is week two of Season of the Splicer. So we're going to get right into the video very soon. I just wanted to say I am excited on how the story of D2 is going and it's become more evolving. And I like these weekly updates and the weekly quests that we have to do. So I believe, what was this week's quest auto? Will of the Splicer or something? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I don't know. I can't pay attention to the weekly quest name. What kind of job am I doing? All right, let's get in here. Let's see what the quest is called this for this week. It's, it's number two in the quest line, and it is Path of the Splicer, not Will of the Splicer. I don't even know what I'm thinking. All right, let's head on right over to the helm, and let's go on and get to the what's it, Splicer Servitor, I believe. So let's go to the left over here and find our splice of server and pick up our quest for the week. Mm -hmm. Great music. All right, hello, I splicer. Oh, I cool. wish you in the light. All right, thanks. We Let's do this thing. All right, so I already completed earning ether for Path of the Splicer 2, so it's automatically going to be putting me on the second quest step. And the second quest step is to complete an override and open a conflux uh, chest at the end. So you get two chests at the end, one on the left, one on the right. The one on the left is just a normal Vex chest. The one on the right, which will have a glowing green diamond above it, Will be the uh, vex check or the conflux checks, I should say. Yeah. So, once you get your quest, and if you already didn't have the first step done, get the first step done, go to the second quest step and head over to the override on the moon. So, the enemies we should be facing are, but are either vex or it's going to be hive. Watch your back, Saint 14, always saying what he's got to say. All right, so yeah, um, so this week's, um, just do what you like to do the last time. So this season's, um, our, this override is the same as last time, but this time instead of Cabal coming in, you can actually have Hive attack you. I recommend um, putting on some Splicer gear, earning some of that Triumph, and, or, or try to get your seasonal challenges done. So do it as you always do, kill the enemies, pick up the moats, and then do three rounds of decoding and hacking the spire. Once you get to the third round, as you see here, and hack the spire, we're going to go right into the, uh, what's it called? The little run track at the end. Uh, obstacle course, that's the word I was looking for. There we go. We're going to go right into the little obstacle course here. So go down the little tunnel that you've thrown down. Watch out for the lasers that are gonna, if they zap you, you're dead. A lot of little lasers. All right, three, two, one. And jump right down here. Be careful, make sure you jump before you fall, or land, I should say. These guys already clicked the button. I'm just gonna stare at it. If you have that little perk, you can actually make these pathways appear and you don't have to do all the jumping and the running through the lasers at the beginning. So just avoid the entire obstacle course altogether. Um, once you get through this laser trap right here, you will make it to the boss fight. Oh, actually, wrong. You gotta go. Past this area, you, it kind of looks like the arena for the original boss fight that we had. 
and then you jump down behind it and go down this little slide right into the Vex portal and then you're into the boss fight. And there is the subjugated mine. He is actually part of the required, one of the required challenges for this week, which is the uh, second challenge, which by the way, defeating powerful Vex, he counts as 8%. I recommend doing an override with this week for defeating champions and defeating powerful Vex, because if you get the Vex in, then you'll get uh, double the progress done. So just do some damage, we'll get his little bar down there. Once you get one of his three bars down, you get zapped away into another location. Different from what last week's did. It just made them go away and kill the ads and get um, spiked. But this one, it sends you off to another area. You gotta kill the ads, and you have to kill... When you have the hive, you got a ogre champion. Watch out, this guy hits hard. As you can see, one of my teammates got smashed immediately. So once you kill the ogre champion, and you clear the ads, you pick up the spike, and you go through the portal. You do that um, one more time, get to the boss, and then you just need to kill him. And now he's down. Ah, give me those shards. Left chest, normal vex. Conflict chest. And there you go. Alright. Sorry about the quick cut right there. So once you pick up the um, complex chest, you head back to the helm. And you head to the Splicer Servitor once more. What you give to them, you take from the mouths of our citizens. All right. That's enough. The soil is firm. I am to provide for the Elixni as if they were our own people. Our own people. Wash me with right. You are too political an animal, Osiris. The House of Light. We wish to destroy the Vex. To aid the Guardian. Save us, you. Yes. Do not start me. Tell me, Beautiful. Were I in one of your ships, would you bow to all of my demands? We would give you anything you asked for. Because you are so generous? Because we would wish to live. It is true. With this implies that I caught a cell. Then we will let this false knight pass more quickly. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. I do like having the fallen there. All right, once you listen to that dialogue, you get your next quest step. Now you go to the Spicer. You actually have to listen to their conversation first. Guardian, earlier I could not speak openly to Osiris, to the saint. Oh, I wanted to shout. Have you been beneath the great machine so long that you cannot survive without its bounty? What fear stops my work?
right, once you're done, you can pick up your ward right here. And that is it. That is the weekly quest mission. Now, after you complete the quest mission, actually, you can, um, what's it called? You can go over to one of the, the little terminals off to behind the splicer. I'll show you there in a second. All right, so here we go. The splice, um, there's a terminal right behind you. Last week we had Crow talking to us. This week we're gonna have um, Ikora giving us a quick message. People of the last city, Commander Zavala and I have been touched by the generosity and kindness you've shown toward our new Elixir neighbors. We also understand the reluctance some have shown toward their resettlement. To those who mistrust our arrangements, let me remind you that this very city was founded by refugees. We sought shelter not only from alien threats, but from other humans, the bandits and warlords that profited from our suffering. So it is with the Elixir. For the first time in our shared history, we need the Elixir, and they need us. Together with Mithrax and his sacred splicer, we can end but only if we stand united for the betterment of all. All right, that is the whole video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this week's um, weekly quest and the dialogue and story material you got from it. I sure did. So please, like, subscribe, Leave a comment down below. There's also a link to our Discord down below. You can join and also click the notification bell and every time um, be notified every time we have a video upload. Join our Discord community and have fun talking with us. I will see you next week on more D2. I'm Port Science Ev, and goodbye.